over the past couple of years, I've been on the hunt for the best keyboard for designers and creatives. This is no easy feat because there are thousands of keyboards out there and they all do different things, but also the same thing. They help you write. And a keyboard is a very personal thing. There's a community online, which I would love to be a part of, the uh, mechanical keyboard modding community. I love watching their videos. Today is sort of me paying homage to that, of which keyboard is the best for designers. So in this video sponsored by FreshBooks, I'm gonna be showing you my favorite keyboards, which ones I would recommend to you and why. My first mechanical keyboard I ever bought, I am not testing it today, it was awful. It was like $20 on Amazon. It was one of those blue switches, but knockoff blue switches. The second one I bought was a Razer keyboard, and that was for like gaming when I'm at home. And also I did a lot of work within that. I had like multimedia controls. Again, I'm not showing that because it's it's a terrible keyboard for what we're doing. After these keyboards, I knew that I didn't want just any other ordinary keyboard. I wanted one that could help me with productivity, with work, get things faster. So I found the Keychron K3. The Keychron K6 is a mechanical but optical switched keyboard. So that means that the switches don't have any bumps in them and it uses light for the actuation. When you actually press it, it will register the key through optical. Light, light. I kind of liked it because of the sound, but then I realized, you know, it was really easy to make mistakes. Here, have a listen to the Keychron K6. Six. First thing I like about the Keychron is obviously the switches. They're, they're very nice. I like the linear patterns on them or the linear feel. You don't feel much. This is great for, you know, gaming because if you're anything like me, you're playing Lost Ark and you don't want to be pressing those switches and feeling too many bumps. It's just really simple, easy, quick to actuate, but it is terrible for writing. And I do a lot of emailing. I do a lot of design work. It is terrible. I keep making mistakes because You'll be surprised when you can't feel the switch, there is an issue with sort of like your hand-eye coordination when typing. You need a switch. You need something bumpy, tactile, something that you can feel when working. Other than that, it's a 70 or 65 or 60 or 75, 60% keyboard. That means it's missing the function row. Designers like that myself, listen to music. We want to be able to pause that music. We don't want to be clicking on everything. We want the function keys in there, especially if you're someone who does code, you need the escape key, the function keys. It's really important. Other than that, I like the profile of it. The sound was okay. It's a bit not clicky enough for myself. It didn't have the nice thuds that I like. But for design work, I wouldn't, I would just wouldn't recommend it. This brings me on to the sponsorship that I did a while back with Logitech. They sent me the MX mouse and the MX keys. Uh, to test out and to make a video on, and I genuinely enjoy them and I still use them today. The great thing about the MX keys is that it's kind of Apple-esque, so it fits really nice on your workstation. I also like the actual keys. They've got dimples in them, so when you're writing, it's easy to set your hand correctly on that keyboard. It is a huge keyboard though, it's very long, uh, and it's got a great battery life. It's USB-C, just like the rest of these, they're all Bluetooth, for Mac and PC and USB-C, all of these keyboards. But what I loved about this is the fact that it's got the number pad on the right. So every time, which is a small amount of time, I could use the number pad, but it also has features like when I put my hand over the keyboard, it will register. It will know that my hand's over it and it will light up. It's like an extreme Apple keyboard. It is really nice. If you're wanting something like an Apple Magic Keyboard, but something better than that, Go for the Logitech MX keys. These are great for designers, coders, anyone who spends a lot of time designing or coding, this is for you. And it doesn't matter if you're Mac or PC either because it's got a same size control button, it's got a command and alt button option, everything in there. Doesn't matter if you're Mac or PC. Let's have a listen to the Logitech MX keys to see what they sound like and feel like and to see how fast I can type. As you can see, I can type pretty fast with it, 120 words per minute. This website is called Monkey Type that I'm using and it's just to show you guys what it sounds and feels like in person. For design work, I love this keyboard. It doesn't have 
like the huge nature that a mechanical keyboard has. That's the problem. Mechanical keyboards have a really tall surface area, so you have to really press down, and it also can hurt your wrist, so you'll need a wrist rest after a while. Thinner keyboards, you don't particularly need them. So if you're doing a lot of typing or a lot of designing, this keyboard is perfect for you. I would highly recommend the Logitech. The story goes, after a while, I would go ahead and find another keyboard on Amazon. And the one that you guys keep asking about is this one. It's the Ann Pro 2. This one was a relatively cheap keyboard. I'm going to link all of them down below also. But this keyboard was like £100. That isn't cheap. And I think it's like quite expensive for what it actually is as well. I got this keyboard with Cherry MX Browns, which if you don't know what that means, it's kind of like a less clicky switch but it has a bigger bump so you can feel it so it's not so loud the problems that we have with mechanical keyboards is they're quite loud and if you don't want to be that loud this one is better for you I loved this keyboard. It was great. It felt good. The keys caps were good. There were so many lights. It looked good in videos as well. And I genuinely did enjoy using it. This, to me, was the best mechanical keyboard for the price out there. I didn't want to spend too much money, but I wanted to spend a little bit. So I bought two. I bought one for home. If you realize that these got the same switch as the key crons or the same key caps even, it's because I took the ones off at home on the first Ann Pro 2 and put them on my key cron because I like the light coming through the white better. You can see all the lights working. They're really bright, really vivid. You can change the keycaps. All of these like colored keycaps on the Ampro came with the keyboard as well, which I thought was a nice little move. It comes with a USB-C. Again, Mac or PC, you can plug this into and you can actually do custom things through an app when you plug it in. You can like do custom layouts. Again, this is a 60% keyboard, so it hasn't got the directional arrows, which was a kind of a deal breaker for me, actually. You can still use the directional arrows, which is the shift, control, and alt on the side of the AM Pro 2. But that's sort of like part of the program of this keyboard. Essentially, there's an app that you can use to make it so it will do the arrow keys when you just tap the shift key, for instance. So although I love the form factor, the color of it, it was really clean, white, and the keycaps were nice. The sound of it was a bit tacky. It was plastic all the way through. And I didn't know where to go, really. After that, it was kind of like, what else do I use? Do I use my Magic Keyboard? I kind of like that. I can type fast with it. So that's essentially what I did. I would use my Logitech Keyboard and my Apple Magic Keyboard, depending on where I was working. That was until the next keyboard that I was given by a company. Before I go and talk about that keyboard, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video, the guys that make this happen, FreshBooks. If you're a designer, you know that getting paid can be sometimes a bit tedious, as well as doing your tax stuff, invoicing, gathering up all your expenses for all those assets that you get for your clients. It's tedious. Well, FreshBooks makes it super easy for you. You can save hours of your time using FreshBooks by automatically having your expenses is recorded when you're purchasing, automatically sending reminders to unpaid invoices to clients, and having all your tax stuff nearly done for you. It will comprise them and you can connect them to your accountant. There's so much stuff. It's a very clever app and we've been using it for years for our small business. So if you're a designer and you want to get the most out of your time and not have to worry about the invoicing side, then go ahead and click the link down below. You get 30 days free of FreshBooks just to test out, but it's completely free, no credit card required. So go ahead, click the link and try them out. Speaking of clicking, I got a new keyboard from a company called ASIO. Now this is a cool company. I've seen them before. They create these like typewriter style mechanical keyboards, but they reached out and they said, we would love to give you a keyboard. And of course they gave it to me just so you know, but they didn't pay for what I'm saying about the keyboard. These keyboards are going to be basically sold on Kickstarter. They're raising the funds for these keyboards. And they said they would love to give me one to show you guys. This is the ASIO Cascade Slim. Before I talk any more about the ASIO, let's have a listen to see what it sounds like and feels like when writing. It sounds amazing, and that's because they've gone above and beyond on this. It kind of looks different as well. The reason behind that 
is because this keyboard is a 75%, so you've got the function row, you've got your arrow keys. It's not British standard, that means if you're from America, you won't understand, but the enter button or the return key should fit this up here as well. That's the British standard, but it doesn't really matter. It sounds amazing. It feels amazing. And the reason why it sounds good is because the engineering that they've put inside of this. There's a modding community online that you know mods out these keyboards, makes them sound good. So they kind of lube the switches and they do other things to the stabilizers. I have no idea. But this is a slimline mechanical keyboard. Hence, it sounds a bit different and I love it. I was a bit wary about it because I was like, I could get a slimline one or a full mechanical one from ASIO or a full tall one. But opting for the slimline one was great because I really like it. It is the best of both worlds. If you like thin keyboards, like the Magic Keyboard from Apple, or if you like the Logitech MX keys and you want a mechanical keyboard because you like the mechanical feel, then this is the keyboard for you. It feels great. It's a mechanical keyboard and you can definitely tell it's mechanical. Sounds good. However, you don't have to push too far and it feels like a hybrid between a membrane keyboard and a mechanical one, if that makes sense. It's like got the best of both worlds. Don't be fooled, this is fully mechanical. They've got special Gatoron brown switches in there, so it still feels great when actually typing. And the sound that you're hearing is basically the engineering that they've put into the keyboard, as far as I can tell. Now, why do I like this keyboard the most? Well, simply because it sounds great, it's small, it's a 75%, which means it's got the function rows, it's Bluetooth, it's got little light shows, you can change the switches and the keycaps, it's hot swappable, which means the switches can just come straight out, you don't have to do any soldering. And when I'm designing, it feels more like the Magic Keyboard, the Apple Magic Keyboard, than it does a mechanical keyboard. But you get the feeling of the mechanical switch. The mechanical switch feeling is one that is very unique, and it's one that you guys would enjoy, I would guarantee. So the keyboard I would recommend the most to anyone who's looking for just a standard keyboard, something like an upgrade from the Magic Keyboard that you get from Apple themselves, is go for the Logitech MX Keys. If you're looking for a keyboard that is mechanical, but you don't like how tall they are, you don't like how some of them sound, and you don't know which ones to get because you have to mod them out, this ASIO Cascade Slim is amazing. I've been loving it. I take it home with me every day to do my writing at home. If you're someone who does lots of writing like myself, it's a lifesaver. So there you go. That was a bit of a different video for you guys. I thought it would be fun just to show you what I'm using. If you have any other questions about what I use in the office for designing or whatever, just let me know and I can make a video, even maybe a comparison for you as well. Leave your comments down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Honestly, we don't do enough of this tech content. I love it so much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See you soon. Goodbye.